tonight. People are good and happy. Yes. Good, good, good. All right. Good, good, good. My name is Mac Holiday with Holiday What TV. I celebrate holidays all the days on Vine and on YouTube. All one word, Holiday What TV. Please find me. Thank you. For example, today is Tell an Old Joke Day. Hi. Yes. That, do, do you have an old joke? Uh, no. That's okay. No worries. I'll think you can leave. One. Kidding. Wife, um, thank you. I would like to hear an old joke from the audience. Anyone have one to share with us? Yes. Evelyn, yes? What did the fish say when he ran into the wall? What did the fish say when he ran into a wall? Why is it a male fish? Damn. Damn? Yeah. Damn? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I get it. That's funny. All right, that's very good. That's good. All right. Um, I had asked you guys on Twitter. Uh, who has an old joke? And if I like it, maybe I'll share it here at the podcast. I liked one by Ms. Althea. Is she here? Where is she? There she is. Hi, Althea. Yes. So uh, should I say your joke? Or maybe you should say your joke that goes... Do you want, do you want to do the answer to it? And I will ask it to you. Uh, okay. Yes. Do you know the uh, I'm trying to remember. I'll remember. Go. Okay. Where do sheep go to get their hair cut? Where do sheep go to get their hair cut? At the Baba shop. <laughs> yes. Yes. Very good. Thank you for sharing that with me. I like it. That was your grandfather's joke, yes? It was. He, he, told, he asked me it every time I saw it. I love it. That is very cute. Yeah. One of my favorite old jokes is a rabbi, a priest, and a Lutheran minister walk into a bar. The bartender looks up and says, is this some kind of joke? <laughs> Yeah? No, nobody? Okay, whatever. So today, <laughs> what is trending, what is trending on the Twitter would be the fact that everybody knows today is National Tequila Day! Hey. Yes, yes, I got my tequila cocktail. Where's yours? That's good. It's a fun audience. <laughs> um, so, and if you don't know, in two days, it's National Dance Day. Yes, so I thought in Mac Holiday fashion, combine the two, we're gonna do the tequila dance. Stand up. Yes. Now, do you guys know the tequila dance? No, do you know it? Okay, have you seen the movie, by the way, Pee Wee's Big Adventure? Do you know the Pee Wee Herman version of this? Can you demonstrate? Kelly, it's okay. No? Anybody? Anybody know it? No, no, it's like this. Right? All right, so I'm going to play it. I was supposed to get it through the speakers. I'm not I can dance as much. But uh, I would like to hear everybody in unison yell tequila when the, when the time comes in the song, because that is when it gets fun. All right, are we ready? Here we go. Can you hear it? Dance, go! Once you dance! <laughs> So, the first time ever in my experience in downtown podcast history since I've been hosting the sponsor segment, do we have the same sponsor with the main community person, the main segment? Yes, we have Jersey, who is the director of sponsorships with Las Vegas Film Festival, sponsoring us tonight! Yes! So I know that Dylan and Milo have already given you a little bit of the four and one, but let's, you know, they say repetition is the mother of knowledge. So we might, we, we, we repeat a couple of things mm -hmm. and that's, that's, that's okay, right? That's okay. All right, so give us the four and one, please, a little bit. The when, the where, and all that stuff. Well, the uh, Las Vegas Film Festival coming downtown, we're so excited about it, finally. We've been hanging out a little in the middle of the strip, and now we figure we make our way down to the party spot, apparently with tequila dancing, so... Uh, yes! Um, so, uh, so that's fun. Um, so it kicks off next Thursday, you're all invited. Uh, LVFF.com, and for a full schedule, it's backslash schedule, real sweet and simple. And uh, we're gonna make this our, make this our home for uh, about four or five days next week. That is so neat. Now you were mentioning to me earlier this whole college segment part that I think is really neat, and how yes. the college students they they see their movie on the big screen. Can you elaborate? I uh, one of the biggest things that attracted me to this film festival a couple years ago was the college segment, and it's made up literally. The University of Nevada, Las Vegas, uh, CSN, and now we're actually adding in a new college, uh, Sanford Brown College, uh, get their own segment to show blocks of films uh, from students that are hopefully going to be uh, future filmmakers uh, in much bigger spotlight. And, and they look at our festival as this huge grand thing 
uh, for them to show, even if it's just a seven or eight minute video. Some of the videos that have come out of it that I've seen uh, uh, have been amazing. Some of the films that have come out, just short films from college students uh, that are just looking for a little tiny piece of piece of food to eat mm. and be a new film and grow. Now, okay, and get so at the film you were film. telling me that to be in the college portion, you have to be a college student, but a college student can sort of submit into any part of the festival. Absolutely. College students get their own kind of portion to put into, but they can also submit to any and That's all cool. different areas. Yeah, I like that. If they want now, to. you mentioned also to me earlier that almost 90 countries were represented in submitting to the festival. And we, I didn't realize how big the festival reached out to. We had a gentleman from Denmark come, and he had a smile on his face, I swear, 24-7, from the second he got to Vegas. Now, I don't know if that was us or the strip clubs that he kept <laughs> telling me about. But nevertheless, I like to think it was credit to the film festival, and he just stayed with us. Every, he got a VIP pass and literally went to every single event. I think wow. he wore the same suit the whole time and didn't <laughs> sleep. Uh, but maybe they do that in Denmark. And uh, he literally added me on Facebook. He's coming again this year. So. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah. So that's really cool. So if you are, uh, you know, new to DTLV, you will experience it in an awesome capacity. But what if you already live here? You're local in DTLV. So why would you want to go except, of course, for seeing movies? Of course, yes. No, if you're, if you're, a, lo if you're a local in Vegas, it, we the film festival from start to finish makes you feel like you're you're a tourist at it. It's a, it's a new attraction that only comes once a year. So if you don't experience it last if you don't experience last year and you come this year, you're not going to feel like you're living here. You feel like a, a tourist just as much as anybody else. And if you came last year, I guarantee you this year is going to be mm. a whole different level. That's so. cuz we're DTLV, we represent. Yes, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So, um so there's a lot of parties. I went on the website, I saw opening night, and I saw after parties, and midday parties, and closing night parties, and all kinds of parties. Can you give us any little bit like of a sneak preview on the parties? If you go to the website, lvff.com backslash schedule, you can get a full list of all the films and parties. But the ones I will tell you about, kicking off at the Inspire Theater on the rooftop, opening night. Who likes Inspire Rooftop? Yeah? It's good times. There you go. Yep. And, uh, and then jumping all over the place throughout each night. We're at the Gold Spike one night. We're at uh, the Atomic Liquors one night. And oh, we're so uh, cool. even hitting up the Container Park on Saturday night. Going to have Love a good it. time out there. Very nice. So uh, you may or may not know, but if you follow my Twitter, you would know. If you're not, why aren't you? And if you are following my Twitter, then you actually have like a sneak peek because I do give away some of the answers to some of the questions I'm going to be asking you tonight for the trivia contest that I have created all by myself for Baba the... Shah. Uh, yes, okay. yes. Um, VIP passes. VIP passes worth $140 each, may I say. And this gives you, do you want to get, I mean, that's like, you're like a star when you have this. If you have a VIP pass, you pretty much are Milo Costalecki. You pretty much run the film yes. festival. I mean, it, it gives you all access to each and every aspect that we have, from the film to the parties and everything in between. Uh, except we won't hold your hair back when you throw up later at the end of the night, so. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm going to be asking, uh, so we'll do a trivia contest thing. I decided to sort of combine the best of both worlds. I do holidays, you're doing the movies. I want to ask you some questions about some holidays and some movies and see who's going to win. Now, I can't. All right, I said today it's a holiday, it's tequila day. Tequila is made from agave. There is another spirit. Oh, by the way, if I happen to, you can answer in the middle of my question if you happen to know. She's already, at, she's already, at, no, the, who is it, Dylan? That is Rona White. What is it? Yes, Brilliant! Well done! Yes! Yes, good job. So mezcal is another agave-based spirit. I, I love, that's my favorite, it's smoky, it's very good. What's your name, by the way, you got it right? Lizzie. Lizzie, I'm very proud of you. All right, so Lizzie won everybody else nothing. Uh, all right, let's move on to a little bit of uh, movie stuff. Who is the last performer to win two consecutive Academy Awards? <laughs> Seriously? Nobody. Wow. Oscar? Not one person. Oscar? It's Lizzie again. I'm just going to guess Meryl Streep. Incorrect. <laughs> you cannot compete next round. Think ahead, Lizzie. OK. All right. So let's see here. So uh, in a couple days, on uh, one of the days coming up, is National Cheesecake Day. Yes, it is. Uh, what is the main ingredient in a cheesecake? Oh, oh gosh. No, you can't say it unless you're called. Cream cheese? Yes, cream cheese. <laughs> All right, good job, good job. Welcome, good job. What's your name? I didn't hear it. Nikki. Nikki, thank you, Nikki. All right, let's see here. Uh, what was the first candy to be sold by weight rather than piece? Yeah. Althea. Jelly beans. Yes! Yay! Good job! Yes! 
<laughs> That's awesome. The reason why I say that is because Jump for Jelly Beans Day is coming up on the 31st. All right. Let's see. This is the third most popular drinking beverage in the world after water and tea. Beer. <laughs> Beer is correct. Good job. All right. So who all have one point? Anyone have two? No one has two yet. Running out of questions, people. All right. So let's see here. Name the two stars of the two stars of the current movie, Sex Tape. Thank you. That's gonna be the win. Cameron Diaz and Jason Segel. Yes. Good job. All right. Come up, baby. Come up. You did it. Yes. I'm proud of you. Give me a hug. Thank you, well you got it. Good job, good job. One more round. That's beautiful. Very, very good. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to go back to uh, tequila here. How many agave plants are harvested each year to make tequila? It's a multiple choice. We got four. So if you keep answering, someone's going to get it right. Uh, Five million, sixty thousand. Already his hand went up. No, no. Are you going to guess? You're, you're going to make it easier for everybody else if you get it wrong. And you're wrong. So now it's 60,000 versus 300 million versus 2 billion. Okay, so that's the math. I was going to go with 300. Correct. Yes. All right. We have our two winners. It's very exciting. Congratulations. I'm so happy and I hate tequila. That's funny. That's very funny. She said she hates tequila. And yet tequila did good for you tonight, yes. Yeah, All right. So I want to one more time thank Jersey. Thank you so much for being here, being our sponsor. Yes, yes, yes. And a very, very important announcement. We're not going to be here at the Scullery next week because you guys are taking over. Yes, you guys. Uh, we're going to be at a place called Fremont Street East. That's where downtown podcast is going to be. We're getting nice and fancy. So uh, you must see us at, at Fremont Street East. And thank you so much. Happy holidays.